I want to share with you something that I found really inspiring. Really inspiring. I always have been inspired by this. And that is this ability to have pure gratitude for existence. When I first heard someone say, and you can just be grateful for reality, and you can just be with the universe, I couldn't help but interpret it in a kind of spiritual hippie kind of way, where I'm just hearing a kind of spiritual saying or platitude or whatever. But then I started to meditate more. I started to sink deeper into the present moment and I started to actually, you know, increase my consciousness, which by the way, is what gets you there. You might, you might wonder, you know, what takes you from, you know, an, an ordinary mundane state of consciousness, a kind of human state where you're just like, well, I mean, that sounds great. Uh, what am I going to do about it? To actually feeling this stuff and actually being like, wow, I'm grateful for being alive. What, you know, what does that? Well, basically it's consciousness work. It's spiritual work. It's enlightenment. And personally speaking, meditation is my favorite way in because it's free, it's natural. You can just do it anytime. And, you know, what I've noticed as well is that when people say, when, we, when people speak of meditation, one thing I've noticed is that most people aren't very developed with it. So they try it and maybe they just kind of fall asleep or they just sit with their thoughts and they don't really know what they, what's happening. They don't go very deep, right? Because, you, you know, maybe you've had this man where you're, you're meditating, but you've actually had an experience where you do go deep and you're like, wow, I haven't been going deep this whole time. From that deeper place, if you open your eyes, if you look at reality, you just notice something subtle about it. It's just like, wait a second, there's something to this. There's something to reality that's that's literally mystical. And I know people, again, have problems with that word, but that's because they're closed-minded. How many people do you actually know who are, who are serious and earnest about, you know, enlightenment and awakening and genuine raising of consciousness? Not many people. This is why if you have intuition, if you have that inner knowing that you need to pursue this path, if you need to become more spiritual, do it. You've just got to do it because most people, they will not have the inclination to do it really because they'll just give up. They'll just half ass it. They'll just try meditation. But yeah, I tried it. Do you know how many people in my life I've spoken to have said, yeah, I try meditation and no judgment. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, but come on, man. Like if you're anything like me, you could, you could try, try and meditate for years and still go after it and still pursue it because you know what could happen. You know that the ultimate reward is higher consciousness. So it doesn't matter if it takes you half a decade or even a full de de decade to start to become adept at meditation because the version of you that has this pure gratitude for reality, this pure gratitude for existence has spent many, 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 many years and decades putting in the work so that they can just let go and be. This is what's important. Now, here's some reassuring news. Will you, on the way there, have moments, fleeting moments of ease, peace, calm, serenity, gratitude for existence, gratitude for reality? Yes, especially during peak experiences or when you're in an altered state of consciousness, because what this will give you is one of those shifts that we spoke about. A, a real change in your state, right? You're only ever looking for state change, I promise you. That's all you're ever looking for. Because when you have state change, you're like, oh, I'm in. And I got my consciousness back. It's higher consciousness that you're after. And so you want to, again, invest. Invest, invest, invest in your spirituality, in your consciousness. When you realize that consciousness is the most, oh, I can't even put words to it, man. It's so it. It's so it. Any way I try to explain it, it's like, I didn't get, I didn't quite capture it because it's so it. So what do we do if we can't use language to point to this? Well, you use your intuition. Why would you do this? Because intuition will nudge you. It will, you know, the universe will give you lots of nudges via that feeling, via, via, uh, via that sense that you have, that you want to pursue genuine happiness, enlightenment, awakening, raising of your consciousness. If it's not clear to you that this is the answer, 
I invite you to spend more time looking within. I invite you to spend more time sitting and listening and feeling and asking yourself questions, contemplating, what do I really want? Ultimately, what you want to discover for yourself is that you want to be able to sit under that tree. You want to be able to be chill with existence. That's what that's what's up. And I was actually asking myself this earlier. Is this a state or is this a stage of development? A state or stage? And I think it's probably both. But right now, just within my own experience, I would say I experience it as a state because it comes and goes. But you can, later down the line, with huge spiritual investment, have it be a stage. We could say that the stage of development where this is present, that's what you want to aim for. Because you've evolved yourself and you've evolved your consciousness, your baseline, to get there, to be satisfied with reality. That is something. Because you may have fleeting experiences, states, as we've said, but to be at the stage of development where you can truly be with yourself <laughs> and have this gratitude for reality, man, that is inspiring. We are going to call it there. Lots of love. Take care, my friend. And as always, peace.